<gasps> this might be the funniest western I've ever seen. Bad fingerless and oh, that's him dead. Uh oh, uh oh. <gasps> Howdy, cowboys and cowgirls. Girls? No. <laughs> Say that again. I'll start again. Hold on. <laughs> Howdy cowboys and cow gals. We are back with another western and it's been a while, I think. It has, it's been a while. Wait, I need to put something on first. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have it all right. Now I know, I know Clint is not in this movie, but I said I would wear it for the next western. I just need a cowboy hat now. I have my cow and I was going to put a little moustache on him and a cape because he's called Mufasa, but then all the other cows will make fun of him. So he's, cause I'm a cow cow girl, not a cow girl, cow cow girl. Cause I'm allergic to horses. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, he's cozy. I don't know if I've got it all right, but we'll go with it. It'll do. It's not gonna last long because it's very hot in here. Anyway, today we are watching True Grit and we have John Wayne, maybe other people that I have seen in previous westerns, but I am unsure at this moment. You guys will know when I'm missing a western because it'll just randomly appear out of nowhere <laughs> and then possibly like three or four after it. Um, and then I'll go some time without, and then I'll be like, yeah, let's do another Western again. I have a huge, massive list of lots of Westerns that I need to watch, but this one was highly suggested. So this is the one that we're watching today. And if you could like this video and subscribe and check out Patreon, I'm sweating already. And all that good stuff that helps the channel grow because I love you for it. And I think we're ready to watch. So it's called True Grit. It's got John Wayne, 1969, 69. Uh, wait, what, what, what one was it? Italian job, the Italian job was 69. So it'll be interesting to see. They were both out the same year. I like a 1969 movie. True Grit and play. Frank, you take care of your mama. Oh. Take care of your mama. He's like five. Where's May? She's going to be an important character. $150 cash money. You better hand me my good luck gold pieces, too. Good luck gold pieces. How much are they worth? I wish I had someone that made me stop spending money. <laughs> It'd slap me every time I'm like, yeah, I could have another McDonald's today. <laughs> Third one today. <laughs> We got our business done. We want to make an early start for home. I'm going to make it back in here. <laughs> Let him at him. I want to see. Give me your gun. I'll give you one end of it. Give me that gun. I'll give you one end of it. <laughs> Holy crap, he shot him. <laughs> and everyone saw. Oh, you're buggered. Uh, can you tell me where the undertaker is? Uh, around the corner from the courthouse, ma'am. Can't understand all these people being here. She doesn't seem that. Was that her dad that just died? She doesn't seem that bothered. <laughs> Going to hanging. <laughs> you want to go to that hanging? Afraid I can't. Your mama said keep an eye on you. Well, I'll go along. Don't worry, I won't tell mama. To the hanging? You really want to see that? Depends what he did or she. No, I'm here. I'll I'll see it all. <laughs> How old are you? You shouldn't be watching that. That's real life. Oh my goodness. Yeah, now you're traumatized. His name's Chambers. He's now in Indian territory. Why aren't you out looking for him? I have no authority in the Indian nation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who's the best marshal they have? The meanest one is Rooster Cogburn, a pitiless man, double tough fear. Don't enter into his thinking. Go for the meanest one. Where would I find this rooster? Bringing in a load of prisoners from the territory. It's going to be John Wayne, isn't it? I won't rest until Tom Cheney's barking in hell. <laughs> Told you she'd be an important character. She's a main character. Come on now. He, oh, he looks so old. He looks so old. I don't like it. Which one of the marshals is Rooster Cockburn? A big fella with the eye patch. A big fella. Why has he got an eye patch? What happened to your eye? <laughs> He's not interested. <laughs> the best time for you to nail Rooster would be tomorrow. He's due to testify before Judge Parker in the Wharton case. 
<laughs> She's very stubborn. I like her. At least they're helping you. I'll take a guess and say your name is Maddie Ross. <sighs> that is her name. Well, that's definitely her first name. I'm not sure what her last name is. We're uh, short of rooms on account of the hanging, but you'll sleep in here with Grandma Turner. Oh, to hell with that. She's used to doubling up. <laughs> is she? I take it my rent will be half then. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. What is your opinion of a federal marshal called Rooster Cogburn? I've heard some terrible things about him. He loves to pull a cork, I know that. Pull a cork? What? Like, he, he likes to drink? Or did that mean something else? How long have you been a deputy marshal, Mr. Cogburn? Four years come March. How many men have you shot? And <laughs> One a day. Okay, this is gonna have to come off. I'm too hot. 12 to 15. So many that you cannot even keep a specific count. Number. Yeah. <laughs> come now, how many? What is it? Well, count them two wardens. 23. 23? 23? 23 dead men in four years. I thought it would be more, to be honest. Was this revolver loaded and cocked? Of course. A gun that's unloaded and cocked ain't good for nothing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> backed away from old man warden which direction were you going i always go backward when i'm backing away <laughs> i appreciate the humor of your questions don't make sense do you have any more questions for mr cogburn none that i'll get a straight answer to i'm finished with it there you go all the next witness <laughs> is that it is he finished go get him then quick Quick. I'd like to talk with you a minute. They tell me you're a man with true grit. True grit. That's what it means. My mother's home looking after my baby sister and my brother little Frank. Well then why don't you go home and leave me alone? Yeah, I don't think he cares about any of that. Tell him how much money you're going to give him. And the government will give you two dollars for bringing him in, plus ten cents a mile for each of you, and on top of that I'll give you fifty dollars reward. I think he wants more. Why, by God. Girl, that's a Colts Dragoon. And I intend to kill Tom Cheney with it if the law fails to do so. Oh, I hope she gets to. But if you're hungry, I'll take you home and give you supper. I'd like to meet your family. He hasn't got any. He doesn't have any. I like this. I like them too. Good team. This is my father, Chen Li, and my nephew, General Sterling Price. <laughs> See how you can play cards and drink whiskey and think of this detective business all at the same time. I could. It's called multitasking. Well, I hope you don't think I'm going to keep you in whiskey. And a touch of it wouldn't do you any harm against the night air. <laughs> I would not put a thief in my mouth to steal my brains. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll walk over there by myself. I wouldn't be scared of no booger, man. I'm not scared of no... Booger man. Booger man. <laughs> Booger. <laughs> Make sure nothing <clears throat> happens to her. Sugar? No, thanks. Boy, I love beefs there. He'll help her. I found a sweet distraction, as I suppose most men do. Will you excuse us? Well, of course, Mr. LaBeef. <laughs> Said all the right things. How'd you know my name was Maddie Ross? I saw your mother yesterday. Oh. What business did you have with her? Oh, what? Can you identify the man in this picture? This is Tom Cheney. Well, I'm looking for him, and I hear you're looking for him, too. Right. How come you didn't show me this last night when we met? Only take one step at a time. That's why I was given two feet. <laughs> I gave some thought to stealing a kiss from you. Now I'm of a mind to give you five or six good licks with my belt. Well, one would be as unpleasant as the other. <laughs> make money and your lawyer will make money and you mr likeson's auctioneer you will put the bill you are a damn nuisance <laughs> just give her the money <laughs> have you ever heard of the great arkansas river well he was the one that forced them into receivership oh they tried to mess with him right just give her the money all right come inside <laughs> 300 plus 400 700 that's a lot. What do you need all that for? And the price for Judy alone will be three hundred dollars. Now listen very carefully, <laughs> as I will not bargain. <laughs> this, this is hilarious. <laughs> that you get everything except the saddle. I would like to have that in writing. You'll find it in order. You had that already written out. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> I'll give you a check. I prefer cash. 
I think everyone prefers cash. Checks are shit. Do you know Marshall Rooster Cogburn? Everyone does. Heard of Rooster Cogburn, and some people live to regret it. I would not be surprised to learn that he's a relative of yours. <laughs> oh, hey, it would be cool if it's they found out they were somehow. Well, you're not going. You misjudged me. I can't go up against Ned Peppers. Yeah, I wouldn't go either. Just leave him to it. And here's $25. I'll give you another $25 when we leave, and 50 when the job is done. How much would that be now? This is what I like to know. I'll be more than ready. Um, I just can't see her being any help. But then, yeah, she maybe will be. She's strong-minded, but is she physically strong? Young girl fell headfirst into a 50-foot well on the Towson Road. I thought perhaps it was you. <laughs> I will pay you $12 for that pony. If you shoe him for me, I will not ride a barefoot pony. Just to hurry up and give her the horse so she can get out of your way. Heidi! Oh, is that... Oh. What are you doing here? I'm having a little conversation with the marshal. Right. Forgot about you. La boof. La beef. On the track of the same man we're after, like throw in with us. I've already told him we're not interested in his help. But you need his help. The more the better. How much is she paying you? Enough. A is lot. she paying you five hundred dollars? <gasps> he wants him caught and punished, so do you. I want Tom Cheney to hang for killing my father. I don't think it matters how he dies. You gotta learn that you can't have everything your own way. When I bought and paid for something, I'll have it my way. Oh yeah, you signed a contract crossways of me and you'll think a thousand of brick have fell on you. You wished you was... <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> Give me my $25 back. Hand it over. Spend it. <laughs> it's spent it already. <laughs> and you've not heard the last of Maddie Ross. You may well hear from my lawyer, Daggett. <gasps> Listen, everyone just needs to calm down and you just need to go and find him first and then decide what to do with him. I've got business across the river, and if you interfere with me, you may land up in court, which you don't want to be. She's taking everyone to court. <laughs> Lawyer Daggett again. She draws him like a gun. Uh-huh. <laughs> this might be the funniest western I've ever seen. I gotta fix my hat. She's gonna punch him. <laughs> Goodbye. Can she get around the river without going oh, through it? Because she might meet them on the other side. That's a bad idea. <laughs> oh, she got there quicker. If you run really fast, then you'll dry off quickly. Horses can't get away from little Blackie. They're loaded down with a fat man and iron. Yeah, but your horse has just swam across the whole river. He's going to be tired. Well, Ned was sighted at McAllister's store about three days ago. All the food looks amazing. Apart from that dumplings. They weren't. They were yuck. Male hijacking job. Stu? Stu? He's going to end up being her new dad. What are those things? Corn Dodgers. Corn Dodgers? What you got in there? Oh, must be 175. Corn do I want to know what that is. Corn Dodger. I'm going to look up her recipe. Is that a turkey? It's all ripped up. Pretty chewed. Too much gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember hearing something like that. It needs to be a clean, clean kill. Or you can't eat it. We're looking for a place to sleep. Well, there's no room for you here. Well, if it's just him, then tell him to get out. Try that on the chimney. On the chimney, he's gonna smoke him out. <laughs> oh, he's actually gonna shoot him. Speak up! Who's in there? <laughs> None of your damn business! Oh, there's more than one. There's more than one. Belly down! Spread eagle! This guy did what he was told. Spread eagle. <laughs> That's a year right there. Oh, my leg hurts. I'll bet it do, sonny boy. Pour some whiskey on it. Six horses in the stock shelter. These men are waiting for somebody. You don't say. Wait, if they're waiting, if there's going to be six, 
Oh, it's a bit of the might be who you're looking for. Too young to be hopping around on a little peg. You trying to get at me again? I'm yeah. getting at yeah. you with the truth. You're going to lose your leg. I'll tell what I know. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to be like, on, fingerless, and oh, that's him dead. Where's Ned Pepper? They're going to rob the Katie Flyer. They're coming here tonight for rematch. They won in four horse. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. George Garrett. Methodist circus rider out of Austin, Texas. If you just wait for the pepper guy to come tonight, then he'll tell you where he is. I go saddle the horses. Well, Moon said they were coming here. Yeah. You aim to run? I aim to do what I come here to do. Saddle the horses. Yeah, but wait for the pepper guy, because he'll tell you where he is. Oh, but then, hold on, there's going to be four, oh yeah, four of them against only two of you, because the girl's not going to do anything. Makes sense. You take your horse and find a position over there. Don't shoot unless I do. Oh, you're staying. Oh, okay, okay. You shoot him without a call? Well, I'll give him to know our intentions is serious. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll holler down after I shoot. See if any of them want to be taken alive. <laughs> any shooting before they get in that dugout, and they'll break. You said they're going to have to hurry and decide because it's nighttime now and they're coming. I thought they were coming at night. You're late. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's more than four. I think you've maybe shot two of them. No, just one. Maybe not even. Oh, that's two. One or two. Oh, you got him. That's okay, as long as they're still alive. I think you've got two or three. That man gave his life for him. He didn't even look back. Yeah, sounds about right. None of them alive. Well, what's your story? I was on the move to a better place. I heard the first shot and I thought you'd opened up. Hmm, what was she doing? Driver the horse and maybe you'll hit Pepper. Maybe, well, what yeah. are we waiting for? I say we ride after him. No, they're well gone. <laughs> Epic mustache. Why don't you go in and meet Ms. McAllister? She'll fix you some dinner. I'll tell the wife to fix something for all of you. <laughs> I'll tell the wife. Ask her nicely. Galster can fix that poor little hand of yours. My poor little hand can keep. What happened to your poor little hand? Hayes and some youngster outside. I want you to bury him for me. They're dead? Well, I wouldn't want you to bury him if they wasn't. <laughs> wash first. Don't you wash before you eat? I'm not going to eat his hand. Don't you know about germs? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is she taking a liking to him? Didn't see that coming. You stay here with the McAllisters. You can't get shed of me. Well, she's come this far. You went shed of him as well. There's something in what she's saying, Cogburn. She's won her spurs. I think she's done just fine. Let she's it been... go. You two are getting too... You are, you are flirting too much and he doesn't like it. What are you doing? Looking for sign. You couldn't see it if you saw it. <laughs> you can see it if you saw it. <laughs> Ah, that's brilliant. <laughs> he was carrying around a 21-foot tapeworm. That aged him. What? His wife commenced running things. I wasn't about to work for her, but I told her so. How'd you get a tapeworm out? A man will never work for a woman unless he's got clabber for brains. What about the $25 I paid you? Yeah, exactly. We're close to Ned Pepper's camp. Tomorrow we'll take him. Oh, maybe you should stop then, yeah. <laughs> You don't want to be rough for that. She's doing well. A lot better than what I would have done. The first time something crawled on me, that would have been me off and back to my own bed. We got no water to spare for foolishness. Take a drink and let it go at that. I'd say there's a stream down below there. See, see, see. Jealous. Shouldn't one of us go down with her? Might not be safe. Go in there and you go in there. Uh oh, uh oh. <gasps> oh, that's going to be the man. That's going to be the... Yeah, it is. Well, that was a coincidence. I know you, little Matty, the bookkeeper. Shit, he knows you. What are you doing? I came to fetch water. That was not my meaning. <laughs> I'm here to 
take you back to Fort Smith and hang you. And I think I will not go. Now, how do you like that? Are you by yourself? If you refuse to go with me, I'll have to shoot you. Is that so? Then you better cock your piece. <gasps> All the way back until it locks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You just got it all the way around. Now, you will follow me. <laughs> who, who shot him? Who shot who? Did she do that? I didn't think you'd do it. <laughs> I thought it was one of these two. I got chaining! Where's the rest though? I just didn't think you'd do it! <laughs> Everything happens to me and now I'm shot by a child! <laughs> and now I'm shot by a child! <laughs> Shoot him again! Quick! Oh fucker! Oh fucker! Oh no! Oh, this is so funny. Hurry up down here! Oh, God. I, d I knew it. I knew he wouldn't be alone. Take her and go! I can't imagine anything bad will happen to her. The movie's too funny for that. If I see you riding over that ball, reach to the north, I'll spare the girl! Oh, I didn't even notice his lip. So that's what happened. <laughs> How did that happen? Like this. I'm Maddie Ross of Dardanelle in Yale County. My family has property and I don't know why I'm being treated like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know why I'm being treated like this. <laughs> Keep this turkey cock quiet or we're having for supper. What the hell are you doing? Why don't you shut up? <laughs> that was the worst. Then comes Harold's brother Farrell. But they're all good shots. They're all good shots, and that's what you need. I can't, I can't get over how funny this movie is. <laughs> oh, amazing. Hey, let, let me ride up with you, Farrell. No! How about you, Paul? No! Nobody likes him. <laughs> Do it again, Harold! Do it again. He got shot by a girl, an under 16 girl. What are you doing? some water so I can wash my hands. There's rattlesnakes down there in that pit and I'm gonna throw you in it. You're not allowed to. Throw the water over his face. About for two days. Well, I tell you, I can do better than that. I can shut you up forever. That's it. Good girl. He's got a gun though. Oh, you're not very fast. All right, Janie, that's enough. You get over there. Everything's against me. <laughs> It's not fair. Life's not fair. You and your brother stand clear. I got no interest in you today. Stand clear and you won't get hurt. Shoot him in his ear. Give him a matching scar. I call that bold talk for a one-eyed fat man. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> oh my god. He's not surviving this. How has nobody been shot? <laughs> well, well, well. You're shot in the heart and you're still alive. Well done. Oh. <laughs> First time you ever give me reason to poor horsey that's such a shame i hate when animals die anything with animals or children suffering in it's mm -mm -mm. for god's sake people oh no show me down the pit oh there is snakes shit wrong person Right, shout for him, shout for him, quick! Where's the ranger? He was just caught- ah! It got her. It got her. You have to suck it out. Suck the venom out. Dead man! Text him when you need him, he's dead! No, he's I not. ain't dead yet, you bushwhacker! <laughs> Wakey, wakey. Oh, but I do want that other gold piece. Forget the gold piece. But it's mine and I want it! Oh, 
She's so spoiled and stubborn, but I love her. Bloody hell, everyone's badly injured. Who's going to survive? I don't think you are. Saved my neck twice. Once after he was dead. Oh, he's dead now. Aww. He survived long enough just to help and then now he's dead. That's sad. You can't leave him like this. I'm the one that's leaving him. If I don't get you a doctor, you're going to be better than he is. Aww, bugger. You'll have to go back and bury him or take him home. Stop it! We must stop! He's played out! Yeah, you're going to end up killing him. I did think that was going to happen. What? Are you dead too? You're going to carry her the rest of the way. Right. And then you're going to be her new dad and live happily ever after with your new dad. Here we go. And you're not going to be too late. She'll be fine. She's gonna look like Frankenstein monster. Chan Lee and General Sterling Price. Not ask which is which, <laughs> but I'll identify myself. The lawyer. I am lawyer J. Noble Daggett. Uh huh. Well, how is this? Gravely ill, I'm afraid. Still able to direct her affairs. Oh no, she's still gonna die. She didn't ask for a receipt, did she? Well, as a matter of fact, she did. Of course, she did. <laughs> An additional two hundred dollars. Saving her life. Oh, wow. He's not going to take it. The boy home to be buried in his ranger suit. No girl showed up. I don't believe there was one. Oh, dude. For Cheney. Them Texicans forgot how much money they offered for reward. I had to help them remember. I can imagine how you did that. It's <laughs> amazing. Someday, Mama will be here. And that is for my sister Veronica and her family. Where do you go? And I will be here. I think it's comforting to know where one will meet eternity, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I would like you to rest beside me, Rooster. <gasps> what? That place should be for your, your family. Yeah. Now, where else would you end up in some neglected patch of weeds? Well, now I might just take you up on that offer, sis. I told you he was a big softy. He's so sensitive. Stonehill says he can jump a four rail fence. You're too old and too fat to be jumping horses. <laughs> Come to see a fat old man sometime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bless both of you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was fantastic. Well, that was just the perfect, perfect Western to go back to after not watching one for ages. It was amazing. It was the best movie ever. It was. How many times am I going to say that? Every time. How's the remake? Is it as good as that one? Because I know there is one because I, I already have the Blu-ray of it. I was gifted it and I really want... Do I want to watch it? Because it might... No, I do want to watch it. It won't ruin it at all because I'll always really love this movie. It was the best. It was so freaking funny. I didn't realise it would be so funny. <laughs> like the whole way through. The whole way through. It was just non-stop funny. I don't think I recognised anyone else. It was just John Wayne. I don't think there was anyone else that I've seen before. And I loved, loved the little girl, Maddie. Maddie? Maddie. It was just... It was just the best. It was the best. How can I say that it was the best more than the best? This one is probably more like a... Uh, this, this one's like a girl western. That's probably why I like it so much. This is, this is one that wasn't like lots of shooting and lots of action and lots of bad men and lots of um, lots going on. It was just... It was so nice all the way through. There wasn't lots of shooting and fighting and gore and stuff. That was, everything was funny. Everyone, everyone was enjoying themselves. I feel like the, when they were making this movie, everyone like at the end of it, everyone was like, well, that's going to be a bloody good movie. We had an ace time. Whereas like the other Westerns that I've seen, they probably needed therapy after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> you know it's a funny movie when you're still laughing after it because you're talking about it and you're laughing at the same time. It was very funny. Did I say it was funny? I think that's now my third or fourth John Wayne movie that I've watched and he looked very old in it and very fat. <laughs> fat and old. <laughs> I wasn't sure what was going to happen if the Texas Ranger or... Um, the marshal was going to end up with the girl at the end. I wasn't quite sure how old she was, but if she was a wait to turn 16 or was 16, then I think that's fine or would have been fine then, I think. And it was normal. So maybe it would have happened if he'd survived the, the ranger, especially if, if he was telling the truth and there was no girl waiting for him at his funeral. And I like that um, John Wayne is now her new like father. <laughs> and he's going to be buried next to her and I just think that's so, so the best. It's making me feel very emotional and I've, I'm getting all the feels again. I like the idea of knowing where you're going to get buried and knowing who's going to be lying next to you. I like that and I might do that if I figure out how to because I don't know if it's a thing here. I will look into it. Do you know what I love? love 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 about the westerns is the the little houses and the land and the way that everyone talks and the way that everyone dresses and i just think it's it's so amazing to see it that that's how it used to be and not even that long ago when you think about it it's fascinating it's very very fascinating and i freaking loved it so that is now i i need to i need to count like fourth fifth western that i've watched and i I need more. I just need to. I'll probably have another one next week. <laughs> I haven't got one penciled in, but I may just shift things about so that I can have another one in there because I need it. And there's so, so many to choose from as well. I am going to be busy for maybe, maybe like till I die. Maybe when I'm an old lady, I'll still be watching these movies and reacting to these movies. And you guys will be like, stop, you're too old now. And I'll be like, I'm never too old. You're only as old as you feel, and I feel so. Do you, do you know what? If someone was to say to me, quick, how old are you? I'd be like, 17. And I, clearly I'm not 17, but I feel like I am. Anyway, I'm rambling on. That is me. Let's, let's like this video because it was a good one. And let's subscribe if you haven't already. If you haven't already, then how dare you? How dare you? Just, just do it while you're here. You may as well. And you may as well put the post notifications on. You may as well leave a comment and you may as well check out Patreon. There's lots of fun stuff on there. There's lots of new fun stuff happening. And that I think that's it. I'm going to go now. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.